as a tireless fighter who even when she is in the midst of, I don't care how big the battle is, if you were to call her up and tell her that you had some personal problem, your car just got towed or whatever, she'd be right there to help you because she is always with the folks and with the leadership pushing to make sure that our community advances. And I just cannot describe to the extent that I am honored and how grateful I feel at the way she has blazed the trail and laid the pathway for me. And oftentimes our leaders are criticized because they never think about who's coming next. She not only thought about who was coming next, she called me up and told me I was coming next. All right. As I move forward, and I hope that I won't take anything for granted in November, but I want to make sure that I honor her legacy with the tradition of integrity and honor and class and distinction in which she has led. Thank you so much, Congresswoman Diana. Thank you, Honorable Karen Bass. There are many, uh, many community uh, leaders here this evening representing a variety of states. If you are, please uh, come forward, give your card to, to the list, and we'd like to recognize you. And we appreciate the community leaders that are here. Uh, John Bryant here from Operation Hope. Where's John? Uh, Nat Natalie Cole from Our Weekly. We know how important our newspapers are, right? Woo! Our Weekly does the kind of job that's so important, telling our story to our community. Natalie Cole from Our Weekly. We want to just take a minute and again express our appreciation, our respect, our love for Congresswoman Diane Watson. Uh, as mentioned, she has been a trailblazer, a role model, a friend, and an advocate for our community. Here in, here in, California, in California, here in the United States, certainly, and around the world. So, Congresswoman, we are honored to salute you this evening, one of many honors that you know you have received uh, over the past several months, and will continue to serve. We know that just because you won't be elected doesn't mean you're not going to be serving. And so we appreciate your service, we appreciate uh, your inspiration, and on behalf of everyone in this room, we know you are going to be uh, sorely missed, but not forgotten, and we appreciate you, we love you, and please, please share with us some words of wisdom, words of advice, words of encouragement that will lead us on, not just for today, but for the days to come. The Honorable Diane Watson. Thank you so much. I'm going to make this quick, but I want to thank Zara McCall, yeah. who was on the school board in Eaglewood, one of us, one of my cities. And thank you for pulling everyone together. And I want to say next to her, no, uh, Holly is, where's Holly? Holly, where's Holly? You know, I have adopted the phrase, lift as you find. Uh, as Karen Bass told you, she didn't have a choice. But you see, we've been watching her for years, Karen Price. And we know and I want to say to you. This is not just the party. And don't let the press do that to us. As the president said, if you want to go forward, you put it in drive. D. If you want to go backwards, you put it in reverse. Or, or you throw your keys to the guy who threw it in the ditch in the beginning. So just remember, you're here. You are here because you want to move forward. Amen. And that's what we have been all about. And we, who have been in office for a while, know that we have to turn that leadership over to the next generation. And that's what you see here next to me, and that's what you see down this line. And we're so appreciative of each and every one of you who have chosen to serve. You make it look easy, but it's not easy. It is not easy. And we have to work 24 7. Look at this young lady over here. <laughs> over in Pasadena. We're so proud.